This video is sponsored by Model3Part.com. For all the latest and greatest Tesla Model 3 accessories, visit Model3Part.com. Good day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to take a look at the new software update 2020.12.6 as it relates to the new stoplight and stop sign features. On the way to work this morning, we're going to go ahead and give a quick test check them out, show you a few things that you need to know. Uh, we'll take a quick look at a couple of stop signs and a couple stop lights, show you how well it works in the Tesla Model 3. Let's dive right in. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly drop this thing into Traffic Aware Cruise Control, and you can automatically see that it's it recognizes a stop sign, and this is all GPS based. It's not seeing a stop sign 600 feet in front of me, um, but let's see how well it does here, if it actually stops or what we have to do. And look at this. Beautiful. However, I will say it's a little abrupt right there at the end. It wants to sort of slam on the brakes a little bit. Now that wasn't bad because I was only doing 16 miles an hour. So let's see what happens when I'm going a little bit faster. And then basically the note on the screen says use accelerator or gear stock to continue. So we'll just go ahead and use the gear stock and boom, it takes off right away. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna juice up the speed here a little bit. All right, so now we're up to 20 miles an hour. And it recognized a stop sign in 600 feet. See how well it does here. So yesterday when I was testing this out, um, it didn't work all that great. So we're gonna see how, how it does today. And I understand that it is in beta. That was actually really good. So um, as I was saying, as I was saying, I know this is in beta. So there's some things that I want to discuss at the end of the video about the release notes that you should be aware of. So this time, I'm going to go ahead and hit the stock to continue. Yeah. Okay. Don't know what it was doing there, but didn't really want to go through the intersection. All right, I'm gonna crank it up here to 23 miles an hour. So this is just in my subdivision, folks. It's very slow, 25 mile an hour speed limit, and not a lot of traffic, so very safe to do this testing. So 200 feet, and yeah. Pretty much slammed on the brake there. So again, we're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, stock to accelerate. So the, the, the beta thing that I wanted to talk about at the end of the video is sort of important because I think that's one thing that everybody has to understand is, you know, when Tesla releases software like this, yes, they do a lot of testing, but they push it out to the fleet to be able to gain a lot of information back so that they can enhance and improve uh, that said feature over time. So just released out to the fleet, um, a lot of you should be getting this update very, very soon if you haven't already. And the more we use it, the more information we send back as we interact with it, the better it will become. So very, very cool to see this feature working. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I didn't imagine that I would have a car that could do the things that this thing does um, in my lifetime anyway. Stopping at stoplights and stop signs. I mean, I guess if you think about it, watching the Jetsons, you know, 20 years back, or actually even more than that, um, you're like, oh, that's gonna be cool, flying cars and everything. Well, this is sort of the Jetson of the auto industry right now. There's no one even close to doing what Tesla does, and it's just quite amazing. All right, so here we go, another stop sign. And I wish at like the 200 foot mark, it would start to slow down a little bit more so it didn't have to slam on the brakes. Very good, that one was actually perfect. It was very, very nice to the approach of the stop sign and stopped very, very smoothly. It wasn't abrupt at all. So very cool. One more stop sign here and then we're gonna have a couple of stop lights that we'll go through. And it's pretty quick to react. So once it stops and you hit the drive stock or the accelerator to continue, it it's right there, it, it moves pretty quickly. So there's not much of a delay, which is very good. And we got a stop light, which is awesome. See, it already detected that as well. So 
Let's see how it interacts here. It is currently red. You can't quite see it in the picture yet, but coming up, there you go. It's behind the TACC. Okay, and it just turned green. And that's the other thing that I want to note is that look at the difference in the, in the uh, traffic lights. Sorry, I don't know why it's going so slow here. Yeah, so weird. I don't know why it was set to 30 and it was only doing like 15. Cars behind me were like, hey, do you mind going? So we'll try the stoplight again. But what I did want to note is that the color of the lights, the signals have actually changed from the previous version. They're a little more intense, I guess you could say. They're a little brighter and um, gives you a little more definition to the light so you know exactly what color it is. And uh, so just another enhancement that Tesla made uh, through the 2020.12.6 update. All right, coming up to another red light. We'll see how well it does here. It did recognize it, 600 feet. <clears throat> the good thing is it looks like I'll be first in line. So, okay, turn green. So I'm going to hit the stock to let it know that I can continue. Ah, man. That was brutal. So I had my turn signal on and came to the stoplight, turned green. I hit the stock to continue, went and made the turn. It didn't really know what to do. So it pretty much just put the brakes on. Um, so I guess that part of it still needs some work. I, I don't know why it wouldn't just proceed. And the other thing that I just noticed too is that even though I was gonna take that turn, it was gonna get me up to speed as quickly as it possibly could. So there wasn't going to be a gradual um, acceleration through that turn. So that's something that Tesla's gonna have to work out. I think the feature is gonna work great for now when you are going straight and not having a turn left or right at the stop sign because it does a few goofy things as it relates to the acceleration from when you're stopped. So we'll have to take a couple more tests here and see how that works out. It's going to be interesting to see the next release or the next version as this continues to grow um, and using autopilot, is it going to be able to make those turns left and right from a stop sign and from a stop light? Um, and I think that that's not too far off. I mean, this is a huge, huge step for Tesla. And I think that uh, the more we use it, the better it's gonna become and the more widely it'll be used as it gets better and better. Yeah, it is just doesn't seem to be slowing down soon enough for me. I would, I would have probably let off the accelerator sooner than that, but nonetheless, it came to the stoplight and stopped appropriately. These lights that you see here are the back of the lights facing the other way, and our red lights are there in the background. So we'll see if it recognizes it so it can proceed correctly. I just love this. The GUI is just amazing and it's just getting better and better. So what I was hoping to see is that arrow turn green. I don't know if we'll be able to see it behind all the other markings on the screen here. Hopefully it pushes me through the intersection and doesn't slam on the brakes because I do have people behind me. All right, so we, now we have a flash in yellow. I'm gonna Hit it to proceed, I press the stock. And we are off. Now it did, see it's only doing 19 miles an hour. Moving very slow, starting to pick up the pace a little bit. So, you know, I can't really complain about that. I mean, it was gradually getting up to speed as it should, because you remember my rant earlier where it sort of accelerated too fast. That was maybe a little bit too slow. Um, so I think eventually it will find that happy medium and understand what you're trying to do and start to be better and better. So that actually worked really well. I, I did like that. It was a little bit too slow. Um, and of course, you know, people behind you sometimes are impatient anyway, but nonetheless, I think that worked pretty well. All right, so I'm gonna throw this in Navigate on Autopilot now. And we are on a busier route here. And we have a bunch of stoplights and you can see here it recognizes it. And it's just looking for your input to say, yep, it's okay to proceed. 
and I interacted using the stock and I kept on going. But what it does do is as soon as it recognizes the stoplight, it starts to slow down and it wants your interaction fairly immediately, which is a good thing because it knows then you're paying attention to the road. Otherwise, it is going to start to slow down. So let's try that again here on the next light. And I'm going to take a little bit longer to interact with it and see how well it does. All right, it popped up here. I'm going to let it go for a little bit. You can see it's starting to slow down. Uh, pretty drastically there anyway. And then once I interact it, boom, it picked speed back up and started to go change lanes here. And by the way, Navigate on Autopilot has been a lot better um, with this update. All right, recognize another stoplight, 100 feet. Look how quickly, if you notice that, it was 800, 700, 600. So it's getting close and it needs, needs to have your input um, to that traffic light. Now here's a bunch of traffic lights that we're gonna be coming through. We're gonna go ahead and hit accept on that one. And then look at the light indications. Look how much brighter they are than they were previously. And here comes another light. Go ahead and this time I'm gonna hit the accelerator and boom, riding on through. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit fast folks, these lights are coming up so quickly. And here's another light coming up. I'm gonna hit the accelerator again. These are back to back to back. Another light, I didn't interact right away. It started to slow down even more. Look how much more vivid these lights are. Look at that. All right, I have to, here's another light. I'm gonna go ahead and jump through this light, get on the expressway. And there you have it. That is the new 2020.12.6 stop sign and traffic light feature. It is pretty phenomenal to see the car actually interact with those objects on the road and actually do a really, really good job of it. So now that we're done with that part of the test, I wanted to go in and read you the release notes. There's a few things that you have to understand and there's one thing that you have to change in the settings menu to enable the use of the stop sign and traffic light feature. All right, so real quick, as I promised, I'm gonna go over the release notes here. Version 10.2, 2020.12.6. So let's jump right in here. Yes, I'm going to read this because I wanna make sure that it's clear to everybody on how this thing works. So traffic light and stop sign control, beta. Keyword, beta, just like navigate on autopilot and some of the other features that were released. So traffic light and stop sign control is designed to recognize and respond to traffic lights and stop signs. Slowing your car to a stop when using traffic aware cruise control or auto steer. So you have to make sure that you're using TACC or auto steer. This is not going to work if you're on hardware 2.5 or don't have either of those engaged. This feature will also slow the car for all detected traffic lights. Keyword, detected, including green, blinking, yellow, and off. I'm not really sure what that one means, but maybe somebody will come across that and be able to share what that is. So moving on, as your car approaches an intersection, your car will indicate the intention to slow down via a notification. And you guys all saw those here on the screen. The car will slow down and stop at the red line shown on the driving visualization, noted here as well as on the testing that we did earlier. To continue through the stop line, push the gear selector once or briefly press the accelerator pedal to confirm that it is safe to proceed. As with autopilot features, you must continue to pay attention and be ready to take immediate action, including braking, because this feature may not stop for all traffic controls. We always say this uh, in every video that I do autopilot testing on, you need to make sure that you're paying attention just in case something goes awry, and we've all been there, seen it, done it, that the car does do some goofy things every now and again, so you have to pay attention. So this feature, again, here noted, this feature will be conservative slow down often at first and will attempt to turn through intersections. 
Over time, as we learn from the fleet, very, very important, the feature will control more naturally. Now remember, earlier when we tested, when I was going through the intersection or making a turn, it definitely didn't know what to do. And I think, again, here to my point, it will continue to get better over time. So I'm actually glad to see that in the release notes. So moving on to enable, shift your car in park and tap control, autopilot, traffic light and stop sign control beta. And here's the last note. When this feature is enabled, the maximum set speed while using auto steer is limited to the speed limit on the road. So if the speed limit is 30 miles an hour, you can't go five miles an hour over the speed limit like you can using Navigate on autopilot or autopilot in general. And I'm talking rural roads, city streets, and so forth. So that is very important to note because you can sit here and flip your scroll wheel or hit the plus sign to try to increase your speed. It will not work. So before this feature can be enabled, camera calibration may be required. Now I didn't have any issues with that and the latest version of navigation maps must be downloaded via Wi-Fi. Please refer to the owner's manual for additional details about this feature. Now there's a couple important notes here to take is that the stoplights and stop signs are all based on the maps. It's not like the, the cameras are seeing a stoplight or stop sign 600 feet in front of it. It's actually using the navigation maps to determine where the stoplights and stop signs are located. So all done with the notes. Thank you for sitting through that. I truly appreciate it. But I wanted to come back in here to the settings and show you guys exactly where this sits. And you can see, I think I went a little bit too fast. So come into your settings, autopilot, traffic light and stop sign control beta. I've already turned mine on. Um, just so you know, when you do turn it on, you do have to agree to all of the beta testing things, pretty much what we just read, and making sure that you are paying attention and basically agree to enable traffic light and stop sign control. All right, everybody, that is it. That is the new traffic light and stop sign feature update. I hope I was able to provide some useful information to you all and show you how well it works, as well as some of the improvements that Tesla will be making over the coming weeks and months as more information is gathered from the fleet. So there you have it, folks. Thanks again for tuning in. We truly appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.